So everyone that's watching on the live or on the replay, drop some love in the comments. Let me know where you are watching from. Let me know how your week is going. I hope it is going well. Now I get a lot of questions asking about fast meals. Not everyone has time. Very few people have time. If you feel like this is something that you struggle with, that you need fast, healthy meals, give me a one in the comments. And I don't know why I'm not seeing anyone. Okay, there they are. Drop a one in the comments if this is something you struggle with. Time, time for cooking. It is a very hard thing to find anything on the go when you're like shopping, shopping, buying, getting fast food to know whether or not it's healthy. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, I did come up with a fast food guide. So if you want me to send you that guide for free, then go ahead and let me know. Drop a fast food guide in the comments if you would like my guide, okay? Welcome to the gun show, that's right. And you know I have to model my clothing, okay? Look at this amazing back. If you love the back on the Femi crap, drop some love in the comments. Show me some love. Show me some love. Okay, so I am going to show you some things in my freezer because at the end of the day, frozen foods are fast, okay? Not to say that this is what I eat every day, but I have a toddler. I'm busy. And sometimes frozen food is just what you have to do, my friends, okay? So... I'm gonna show you some things in my freezer that I highly suggest. You would think that I would already not in the mouth, but no, I didn't. I did not come prepared whatsoever. So we're just gonna do it like this, okay? Let me know what's going on in your world. Where are you guys watching from? Is anyone on vacation right now? Yes, Melissa up in the house. Marcus, Detroit. I love it, I love it, okay. I'm gonna show you just, even though they're not meals, I mean, why not? Should we just do like a whole freezer raid? I think that's what we should do. Even though, I'll always be honest with you guys. I'm not trying to keep anything from you guys. Okay, so, I think we got a lot of the things that we needed. Okay, so I am all about making things in bulk. If you watch my stories, you know that I am obsessed, and I should say my daughter and I are obsessed with making pancakes and waffles. I think there are so many recipes out there that are high protein, lower carb, lower glycemic, I should say, not so much lower carb, although there are those recipes, but I'm all about low GI, so it's not so much carbohydrates, it's about balancing the proteins, the fiber, the fat, all the macros and keeping them balanced, okay? So Beverly is in the house. She made these pancakes and girl, you need to tell me why they were so flat because mine, not so flat. Anyhow, if any of you want this recipe, I make, I mean, in my book, they're the most amazing banana, peanut butter banana protein pancakes or waffles. You can use the same recipe depending, I mean, you can make pancakes, waffles, same recipe. You don't have to change anything. So maybe I'll have to do like a tutorial on my pancakes. Anyhow, I'm talking about them because the easiest thing to do, my friends, is to make two to three servings and legit freeze them. Freeze them. This is what I do. It is the easiest thing to do to make these in advance, freeze them. I literally pop the waffles in the, in the toaster just like you do when you get frozen waffles. And with my pancakes, I nuke them in the microwave. Easy peasy. I've even done them in the toaster and it is super quick. And that way you just delegate Sunday to making those super high protein and it makes you feel like you're indulging, but you're actually getting a really good amount of nutrition um, and a lot of protein. And I always put like a nut butter, whether it's peanut butter. I typically don't do peanut butter because if you guys are 
um, doing a lot of peanut butter or things like protein bars that are peanut butter flavored, then if you are struggling with GI issues and like bloating and all that discomfort, that's something you might want to switch up. You might want to try doing almond butter or cashew butter because peanut butter is a legume, okay? So it's in a totally different category than all the other nuts. So that's something to take into consideration. If this is something that you guys have uh, struggle with any of you guys that have switched over from peanut butter to any of the other nut butters and you've realized that it's made a huge difference in your gut and the way that you feel and you don't feel as like full and as nasty then um, put a big X peanut butter in the comments let me know because I myself I'm a firm believer that anything that you become so regimented and custom like accustomed to and I'm a creature of habit, I am, but I notice that after I've, I've had something day in and day out over and over and over, my body almost becomes intolerant to it and you do, you become, you can create allergies within your body from overconsumption. And I have noticed it myself in things and it's just, it's something to be aware of. And it's funny because every time that I go on vacation and I'm not able to eat all my staple meals that I always eat every single solitary day, that's when my stomach feels the best. That's when I'm like, man, I don't feel bloated. I don't feel disgusting, you know, whatever it is. And I know you guys are like, oh, shut up, Sarah. But no, I mean, we all have discomfort in the gut at times and if you consistently eat the same foods, it's like your body does start becoming allergic to it or intolerant to it, okay? So switching it up is key at some point. But so the pancakes, the waffles are a really good thing to um, have in there. Quick, you guys, Dr. Prager's is the flipping bomb diggity. I am not like a frozen foods person very often up until I found this, okay? He or she, whoever the hell Dr. Prager's is, the company is doing some amazing things, okay? Typically when you see a frozen food, there are to like so many different ingredients that you can't even pr pronounce. But this is, I wanna read you, soy-free avocado. It, it's made with avocado oil instead of canola or any of the other bad oils. Um, four types of vegetables in here. There is literally pea protein, there's avocado oil, onion, sweet potato puree, butternut squash puree, carrot puree, natural flavors. That's it. And 22 grams of protein per burger, okay? Literally, throw this on the grill, grill it up like a regular burger. If any of you guys, oh, you've had the heirloom burgers. If any of you guys have ever tried this type, because I've tried two of Dr. Prager's brand. This is my ultimate favorite. The Perfect Burger, I've had. The All American Veggie Burgers, it's where it's at, okay? You need to get it. It is literally like gonna storm really badly right now. It's very dark out there. So I put it in the skillet. Literally, it's like five to 10 minutes. Flip it over. I don't use a bun, no. I do a little ketchup and mustard action and uh, you're good to go. And then I do like some kind of a veggie side. You can do quinoa, veggies, but that's something too. I, I suggest doing quinoa, making like a big batch on a Sunday or whatever day you want. And then ooh, this may or may not have alcohol in it. I'm just saying, you know what? Don't judge me, my friends, don't judge me. If you're sipping on a little something tonight, Drop it in the comments. Let's be honest with one another, okay? I was not planning on it, but I did have a friend stop over and I'm like, you know what? Do you want a little cocktail? And she's like, mm, I don't know, are you gonna have a cocktail? I'm like, if you want to, I will. And so there we go. Here we are, my friends, here we are. I've never lied to you and I never will. Okay, so that is a really good thing to have. I have two. And the Perfect Burger, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, the Perfect Burger, the texture was a little bit funny for me. It wasn't my favorite. And it almost, I think it had beet juice to make it the color of meat. Just wasn't, wasn't a huge fan. Okay, Costco. 
Costco's your friend, okay? And if you do not have a membership and you don't wanna get one, then you need to find a friend that has one and you need to go with them at least once every two weeks, okay? Stock up. So, it wasn't your favorite. I know, Beverly, it's just something was weird about it. Buying a big bulk thing of their broccoli, buying a big bulk thing of their cauliflower rice. I think I'm out right now, but legitimately stick it in the skillet with a little bit of water until you brown it and then I put a little bit of butter in there. I use Melt or Earth Balance are my two favorite. And um, yes, Beverly, we'll go. For sure, we will go. I'm actually going tomorrow. Let me know if you have time. So in there and then I do a little bit of vegan cheese. I like Follow Your Heart brand, So Delicious brand. Presley tears it up. And we also like to add our nutritional yeast to the mix. If you guys have not watched my lives on nutritional yeast, there are different brands, but Bragg's is always a very good brand. And for, this is like every vegan, and non-vegans use this as well, but vegans use this as like a seasoning or like a Parmesan cheesy uh, flavor. So you could put this stuff on anything. It's like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Like I put that stuff on everything. Um, one tablespoon of this has three carbs, but two grams of fiber. So again, subtract the fiber from the total carbs, one net impact carb, and five grams of protein. You guys, that is huge. That is a big deal. For one tablespoon of something that tastes like cheese, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And no, it's not gonna give you any yeast infections. I get that question so often. I'm like, really? Really? Oh. No yeast infections. You know, I like to, I'll talk about anything. Filtered, unfiltered up in this house. Okay, so Presley, everyone's like, okay, what does Presley eat? Does she eat all this stuff? She's obsessed with the all American burger, obsessed. She gets so excited. Like when she eats something, she's like, thank you, mommy. This is the best dinner. I'm like, I know I put a lot of energy into formulating and patting down these patties. No, she has no clue it was frozen. Anyhow, I'll take all the credit in the world. I will, but she loves nuggets. What toddler doesn't love nuggets? If you are watching and your toddler is a nugget fanatic, drop a nuggets. Hooray for nuggets. Um, yes. Oh, Brielle, thank you for hopping on. Um, so this is what I give her because I am mostly vegan. I do incorporate egg from time to time and that there is egg in this recipe. So again, if you want my high protein waffle slash pancake recipe, drop recipe please in the comments. I can send it to you. Uh, but these have egg in them and, but these are so much better in my opinion than regular nuggets, okay? So they are a vegetarian option, non-GMO, soy free. Uh, they do have a good amount of protein, 12 grams of protein for five nuggets. She only eats like three or four for one serving. Uh, seven grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, 29 grams of carbs, and only 0.5 saturated fat with five grams total fat. Okay, so pretty good compared to a lot of the other nuggets I've seen out there. Um, another quick meal that I'm not going to get my uh, thing out. You guys, I know I talk about it all the time, but I am obsessed with chickpea pasta, lentil pasta, black bean pasta, all the pastas that are high protein. If you've not tried them, I swear to you, you will substitute all day long and you will never eat regular pasta again, unless you're in Italy. I mean, let's be real. When you're there, you gotta, when in Rome, do as they do. But uh, game changer, 100%. 100%, you can barely taste the difference. And then especially if you're adding in, uh, you know, tomato sauce or whatever it is, there's no way you're gonna be able to tell the difference. And I have so many people that tell me like, oh, my husband would never go for it if I say like, this is made out of chickpeas, but I just made it and my kids ate it, he ate it, they didn't know. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, slip it, slip it in there, see if they notice, and then maybe tell them after the fact. But it is pouring here. Holy mackerel, the show must go on, my friends. Okay, I just, I grab some things. Cocoa Whip, we always have in the freezer. True Whip, vegan True Whip, we always have in the freezer. They're dairy-free. If you guys love Cool Whip, 
I literally have it every day. That is like my one thing, my vice. I love making protein pudding and I do a little cocoa whip or true whip on the top. It is like my heaven on earth. I got a little halo top up in here. These aren't meals, but by golly, I'll show you what's in my freezer. Dairy free halo top. Love it, love it, love it. My daughter loves it as well. And we make homemade uh, popsicles out of Costco frozen berries. So we do frozen berries. And if you want that recipe too, put popsicle recipe please in the comments and I can send that to you as well. Uh, but yeah, I hope this helped. I hope this was informative. If you find this valuable, please drop the word value in the comments. I need to know if I'm wasting my time or if I am providing value. Um, thank you so much, Tim. And yeah, let me know. Again, I am offering three, not six, three spots uh, for online coaching starting September 1st. So if this is something that you are interested in getting a customized nutrition and exercise plan, then please drop, let's say drop a five in the comments if you want information on my customized online coaching program. Three spots open, so if you're interested, drop a five in the comments and I will message you and tomorrow night at 8 p.m. For any of you that are looking for anything additional to add into your world that is fun and exciting and the opportunity is amazing, the sky is the limit, clothing, clothing. You've heard me, you've seen me posting about it. And tomorrow night, I am explaining it on a live video. It's not gonna be on this page, it's gonna be on a private page. So if you would like more information, absolutely no pressure whatsoever, but it is a life-changing thing. For me, it's been life-changing. So much so where people are like, are you still doing your online coaching or are you just doing the clothing? Uh, because it's been that much fun. And I talk about it all the time because I can't get enough of it. Okay, so if you want more information and you want to be entered in to win a $150 Amazon gift card just by watching our video tomorrow night, please drop an add me to the group and I will add you to the group, my friend, okay? No pressure whatsoever. I don't like pressuring people into anything. 100% you have to be ready. You have to be excited. Otherwise, we're not interested, okay? So have a great night. I am done. I got to make some dinner for myself. All this frozen food is probably not frozen anymore. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.